Here's a one minute chart over two days. Shows Apple yesterday after the market. It was closed at around 167 and dropped down to 147, about 20 points for this morning's opening, and it made its way back. It happened to rebound along with the rest of the market, both the banking financial stocks, as oil stocks dropped, the banking stocks went up, as well as most of the Dow stock. Here's Bank America. It opened down, went down to 27.10, and closed at a, close to 32.44 for a, quite a big jump today, which was over 12%. Let's look at Wachovia. This stock was as low as 1168 and went up over $17 today for a 47% increase in price. Here's JP Morgan. You'll see the two major buying programs that occurred today on all stocks that you'll see. 37.85 low, and you can see this rise here, and then it kind of flattened down, flattened out, and drifted downwards, and then we had a second buying program today at about 2.15 Eastern. Here's Wells Fargo, Lehman Brothers, even Merrill Lynch went up, Washington Mutual, and there were earnings after the market today for Washington Mutual. It dropped the stock down to five and a quarter. They made some sort of comment, not sure what they said, went all the way to 657 back to 555 and this is all after market which is four o'clock pacific time is right here at 555 so a lot of action on these a lot of volatility on these financials today here's the commodity stocks which is agricultural chemicals mosaic it was generally down here's monsanto Potash Corporation. These are all fertilizer manufacturers. Let's take a look at some airline stocks. Alaska Airline was very bullish as the price of oil dropped today. Delta Airlines continued up. This is Southwest Airlines. Real strong day for this stock. And here's United Airlines. Big move today on United from a low of five dollars all the way up to eight thirty five that's sixty seven percent rise in one day housing stocks d r horton centex k b homes toll house so you see an up day for virtually all stocks except the precious metals and oil.